I mean, I think it's a fantastic exhibition of what the cathedral stands for, namely that God isn't just interested when we say our prayers and make the sign of the cross, he's actually interested in the whole of life and that's what this building represents now. It represents uh, the doors opening to all parts of the community, especially the young. I've been talking to people as I've gone round and seem to be quite keen about it, though I'm sure there will be people who think, hmm, I need to think about this a bit more. But my theology and my theory of it is, this is exactly saying something I truly believe, that God isn't interested when we are holy or good, he's interested in the whole of our lives, and not least when we're on a skateboard. For me personally, I find it incredibly exciting um, because a lot of what I, I work full time for a church, uh, so I get to do some lovely things from coffee clubs uh, to going into primary schools, acting out Bible stories and things like that. Um, but being here in the cathedral, being able to build something more unique, to be able to engage people with faith in a way they never would have expected, I find that very exciting. And for me, it means engaging people with the message of Christ and being able to show the love of the gospel to people. So, the, one of the differences between uh, Malmesbury Abbey Skates and Cross Cathedral Skates uh, is the people that are kind of helping out to run it. We've got uh, in Malmesbury Abbey Skate, there's a uh, the congregation kind of help, help pull together to um, run the desk and uh, put on all the bits around on the on the outside of the skate park. At Gloucester Cathedral Skate, we've got a whole range of people, not just from the, the cathedral itself, but from churches and groups from all around Gloucester that are all kind of pulling together to help um, with all the different various parts uh, of running this park. So the the, the welcome desk, the uh, the cafe. They helped lay the floor, so we had a big team that came in to lay the floor and to put the hay bales up around the outside to protect the spectators and protect the skaters as well. And yeah, they, they've kind of got a massive group uh, for Gloucester that have come together to help put this on. Yeah, so I absolutely love um, watching kids learn the trick for the, for the first time. Um, so when you're out there and Joe Bloggs has just got on a skateboard for the first time, and um, you've seen him learn a new trick, that's, that's amazing. I love, I love seeing that, I love seeing the guys have fun. Um, Believe it or not, still at the age of 50 plus, I, I still skate, and so I've got a real passion for skateboarding and just actually helping develop um, skateboarders and skateboarding in, in originally with something like Malmesbury where there was no skate park before, and um, just came up with a great idea, and Neil, the, the, the guy down there, and Sarah, and, Alan and a few others sort of came together and it was quite interesting how it all came together and said we'd be mad enough to bring our skate park and um, so that's where it all began, it was very much a partnership from day one um, and that's been going now eight years and out of that came a, a random set of conversations um, with a guy called Ian uh, Meredith up here about the possibility of doing it in Gloucester and um, I thought it was pretty much an impossibility because obviously cathedrals are you know, pretty special places in the same way the Abbey was and that was a, a huge step forward. So when it began to sort of open up the doors, uh, yeah, it was fantastic and again, very much a partnership. So I suppose just over a year in the making and uh, pretty excited on how it's gone so far.
visited Abbey Skate um, when it was on just a couple of months ago. Uh, so I managed to come down, take some snaps, just see what it was about. Because actually when you meet in rooms, which are very sterile, and you're going, you want to build a skate park, what does that look like? How do people react to it? What are all the logistics and all those sort of things? So being able to get down to Malmesbury and see it, really important. Good. To well, I came to one of these years ago. Um, and I absolutely love skateboarding, so I love coming along and being on the ramps and riding. Uh, I love seeing uh, the other guys skating and stuff and having a session with them. Um, I think as well it's that having, I, I really enjoy seeing a skate park in a, an old traditional church and having that sense of uh, working with other people, um, having that sense of serving other people. Um, and being able to share something about what the church believes and what the church is for, for people that might not have visited church before. So to have other people who maybe wouldn't have gone to church normally come and visit and, and see that it's fun and it's interesting and stuff like that. It's been a great one and a half days so far. I'm looking to the, forward to the next one and a half days. Um, just seeing so many people coming in and in, engaging and visiting the cathedral and wandering around and just chatting to people. The aim of it was to really build connections between churches and build, build community here in Gloucester. And I think it's been really successful in doing that. So I'm quite happy. Um, I really wanted to see the uh, local community interacting with the church and just for the church to kind of show how we can all have a really fun time together. We can, yeah, do something that's really interactive and great um, together to build that community. One of the things for me is to take in the skate park to creative spaces and when you see something like an abbey um, which traditionally um, is, a, is an amazing sacred space but it's also um, I think a community space and we just really wanted to, to bring something of our, our faith and our passion to life there. Uh, I believe God loves surfers, skaters, BMXers, rollerbladers, scooters as much as anybody else and I also think that these incredible places you know, we're in Gloucester here, Malms was the same, incredible places of the community, uh, not just for the faith-based um, people. And I think nowadays more and more people are seeing that. We need to open these up, we need to break down preconceived ideas. So bringing a skate park into an abbey, into a cathedral, I did that. It actually, um, just while I've been here these last couple of days, you know, so many people have said, you know what, I've never been in this cathedral. And they live here. And uh, it's almost like the doors need to be opened for them. And that's what this has done and able to do. And so for me, my passion is to see those doors continue to open and um, yeah, to see lives being changed as a result really of preconceived ideas being dashed. Um, firstly, it's just wonderful to see how the team, both the Christian Surface team and the volunteer teams, which are from, from local churches, are getting on and interacting with people. But I think the thing I love the most is just people coming in with a sense of awe and wonder. Just look at it and going, why are you doing this? This is brilliant. But also then being able to have those conversations that run off the back of that, going, well, we're here because you're important. You love to do this. We want to help you recognize that the church isn't separate to your interests and there's lots of overlap. So for me, that's, yeah, that sense of people coming in just going, wow. So, so you think it's important to sort of bridge the gap between, you know, religious people and so come in. Yeah, I don't even think it's even bridging the gap. I think it's trying to help people realise the gap, the gap doesn't have to exist. And I think that's mostly important. Uh, I guess, very personally, it's um, a break from my normal life to go and do something different in a different part of the country with a different group of people. Um, so that's exciting to me and, and I, I, that's one of the reasons why I've chosen to come here and do it. I guess the, the, the purpose of it um, so for me what it means, the purpose of it, is for other people to have an opportunity to engage with Christianity. So for me Christianity has been a huge part of my life, um, uh, without being too, too dramatic I would say it's, it's kind of saved my life, is, is the kind of the bedrock of my life and is something that's um, really helped me and so you know if you hear about something good you want to tell other people about it so this is a way in which I can meet with lots of other people and, and tell them about how great Christianity is.